Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Our sixth grade graduation program. Austin, how do you still have this? My parents kept everything of mine, every report card, every baby tooth, every umbilical cord, pretty much anything that fell off of me. Aw, your family was so weird. <laughs> but why were you always over at our house? Because you had food and sober people. Like I said, weird. <laughs> well, it was so great catching up with you, Mel. Hey, you free for lunch tomorrow? Depends. Are you going to try to get me to snort milk out of my nose like in third grade? Absolutely. I'm in. Don't wear suede. Oh, hey, guys. Joe, this is Austin, my best friend growing up. His bank just transferred him back to Toledo. I used to live right next door to Mel. The sober family. With food. So there, the legend lives on. <laughs> it was nice to meet you, Joe. Same here. I'll see you tomorrow. Wow. What wow? Oh, nothing. It's just, um, I think I'm seeing a relationship start to, uh, how do I put this? Explode. Oh, it's me and Austin? No, we've known each other since we were babies. We rode bikes together. We played Candyland. Oh, so he knows the path to your gumdrop mountains. Classy, Wonga. You know, a couple of children who were like brother and sister, and you have to go and make it dirty. Our relationship is totally platonic. Yeah, sure, for like... Another 10 minutes. Yeah, how'd you get in touch with Austin again after all this time? Facebook. Are you... Who friended who? Who cares? You know, if you looked him up, it could have just been out of curiosity. But come on, Austin's a guy. I mean, I seriously doubt he was wondering, whatever happened to that cute girl I used to play doctor with? Because boy, would sure suck to hook up with her. So in your sad, muscular world, men and women can't be friends? No, no, no. They could be friends. Yeah. I mean, that's what every guy wants to hear, you know? Let's be friends. <laughs> a long-term relationship with zero chance of having sex. <laughs> that's the dream. It's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. As far as I can see, it's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. I guess you're stuck with me. Morning. Morning. You don't get dressed anymore? I'm homeschooled. Stained bathrobe is the official uniform. <laughs> and no freaking way is the official reaction. <laughs> As your homeschool principal, I'm changing that. Go upstairs and put on a shirt and tie. But one more butt, you're gonna get a crew cut. <laughs> She's like prison without the awesome social life. <laughs> nice work. I knew there was a reason I hired you. Yeah, I, I live for that stuff. Hey. I'm making money on the internet without having to do any actual work. That's just what you want to hear a teenage girl say. Ignore him. Go on. Relax. It's not skeezy. This internet ad agency found a sponsor for my blog, and they're setting me in advance for the first three months of their ad. There you go. That's my little capitalist. Congratulations. Who's the sponsor? Take a look. That's so cute. Look at those little top hats. What's that? Something to do with the prom? Kind of. Keep watching. Stop that. <laughs> Condoms? Yeah, isn't this great? It targets the exact audience that I deliver through my website, and ka-ching, somebody buys herself a new phone. I'm gonna let you handle this one, Burke. Lower the boom. Happy to. Nice work, Lennox. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Mel. I thought you were gonna lower the boom. Why didn't you lower the boom? What? We should be proud of her. It's a perfectly legitimate business, and it promotes responsibility. Well, it promotes doing it. <laughs> For guys, saying hello promotes doing it. Besides, she's making money, Joe. Think of the money. I... Money, 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 money. You know what? That actually is kind of helping. Oh, by the way, I won't be home tonight. Austin and I are going to grab a bite. Oh, I thought you guys were going to have lunch. We switch it to dinner. Really? Oh, what's the big deal? Dinner is just like lunch. Yeah, no, no, no. It's uh, just like lunch, you know, except it's many, 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 many hours later and a lot closer to um, bedtime. So, can you make any word sound creepy or just bedtime? <laughs> look, Austin is not into me. We're friends. Well, look, if you want to find out if a friend's into you or not, you just look into their eyes deeply. And if they don't look away, then you know that they're into you. 
Wow, look at the time. I gotta go to work. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I got another one for you. All, all right? You ever tell Austin any work stories? Yeah, so? All right, well, you can test him. If he knows more than 10% of the people that you work with, then he's India. Because guys only listen to work stories when they're trying to rack up frequent booty points. Well, according to your theory, you're into me. Because I tell you work stories all the time. I don't retain anything you say. Nothing at all. <laughs> Go ahead, test me. Nadine, third floor. Who is she? Not ringing the faintest of bells. Come on, I talk about Nadine all the time. How could you not know Nadine? You know, Burke, um, it's been three years now, so you should probably know. When I listen to you, mostly I hear... <laughs> Yo, what the... You said shirt and tie. A little more of the student body than you wanted to see, huh, Joe? Mel. Huh? You seem a little distracted. I'm sorry. I, I was just thinking about something Nadine said to me today at work. Um, you remember me mentioning Nadine, right? Uh, to be honest, I'm not great at names. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't care one way or another whether you're paying attention. Makes no difference at all to me. Wait, hold on. Nadine sweats a lot, falls asleep at budget meetings, touches all the bagels. Wow. You're an amazing listener. These aren't just to hang sunglasses on. <laughs> so, what Nadine do now? Well, she showed me something today, something I'm actually pretty happy about. Yeah, what? Well, here goes. Rose for your lovely lady. Oh, she's not my lady. No, not even close. No, just go. Go! That couple over there needs an awkward moment. Um, so, Nadine showed you something? Yeah, you know what? It turns out I'm not yet convinced. Hey, did you bring that photo album? I am dying to see some of those old pictures of us. Oh, yeah, I couldn't find it, but I'm still looking. And looking. Deeply. I think I see what's going on here. Staring contest! You're going down, Burke. You could never beat me at this. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Staring contest. <laughs> oh, I lose. Oh, well. <laughs> How come you don't have a girlfriend? Um, I don't know. I just haven't found anyone I can just hang out with. Like this? Yeah, like this. Joe thinks we may be more than friends, and I think he may be right. At least I hope he may be right. Okay, uh, that didn't go well at all. <laughs> I'm just gonna close my eyes and count to 50, and when I look up, you'll be gone, and we won't speak for a few months. But then, you know, after a while, we'll go back to being friends and pretend this never happened. <laughs> Mel, a rose, my lady. I can't help but think none of this would have ever happened if it weren't for that dumb, sweaty bitch Nadine. <laughs> Hey, Joe. Smile. <laughs> now when you call me, I will see your scowling face in high definition with retina display. <laughs> you know, not that I'm materialistic, but I love my new phone. That you bought with condom money? Exactly. Good old American condom money. <laughs> Which I earn doing the kind of business activity you usually encourage. Let me tell you what type of business activity you're actually encouraging with those ads. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. Just hold on. Let me get ready. What are you... <laughs> okay, go! Hey, I, um, found that old photo album Aunt Mel's been looking for. Joe, check this out. What? Aunt Mel making mud pies for Austin. Probably the most edible thing she's ever cooked. <laughs> What's this picture of Austin doing in here? I thought those were only childhood photos. That's not Austin. That's, um, what's Grandpa Russell? He must be about the same age Aunt Mel is now. No, his dad looks just like Austin. Yeah, I guess so. Right here. That's Austin as a kid. With his family. The blonde kid surrounded by the swarthy-looking people with the black curly hair and the glasses. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he was adopted. Well, <clears throat> if you'll excuse me, I have, uh, P.E. out in the driveway. Playing a little game of... One on none. <laughs> Got a great winning streak going. Sure. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe he was adopted. I mean, just because Austin looks exactly like Mel's dad, and they live next door to Austin's very attractive mother. <laughs> Mel's dad had a weakness for ladies. There's no reason to jump to any conclusions. I mean, Mel and Austin are just friends having dinner right now before. Uh,
Bedtime. Whatever you're talking about, is it done yet? Better not be. You might have cousins with tails. So are we really gonna risk our friendship for stupid little unbelievably hot mutual attraction? Well, we could keep trying to talk each other out of it. Back at my place, which has a beautiful view of the city and nobody else there. Oh, well, that sounds like a lovely place to get all reasonable on each other. Oh, no, guys. Joe, you're here. Is this? Oh, I mean, what are the chances? What a small, what a small world, huh? <laughs> you guys using this chair? I'm gonna take it anyway. Wow, this is amazing. Look at this, huh? Two best buds here having dinner and nothing else. Later. Can I get a menu, please? I'm gonna join my two platonic friends. <laughs> as long as you guys don't mind. Well, actually, we were just leaving. You're just leaving? Oh, my goodness. All right, well, you're gonna go your uh, separate ways then, Austin? It was so great to see you. Mel, I'll see you, what, uh, at the house in two, three minutes? Give me a sec. Joe, about me and Austin, there is something more. You were right. No, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm never right. I was totally blind, Longo. So blind not to see the perfect guy standing right there in front of me. Now, if you don't mind, we're gonna go back to his place. No, no, you, um, you, uh, can't. Why not? Let me think. Because, because there's a, there's a, a, a situation at the house. It's kind of a family deal. Very, very close family. Closer than you'd, um, think. Okay, I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. Look, it, it sounds like you have something important to deal with. Yeah, so but... I'll call you tomorrow. See ya. A rose for your lady? What? No, God, no, she's not my lady. I'll take one. Ow. He'll pay for it. Charges of unfair labor practices and 16-hour shifts without bathroom breaks continue to be leveled at the Shinwong factory, which manufactures many products. Including top hat condoms. How did you find this story? You don't need to know what I was searching, just know that I found it, okay? This is all I can't be involved with these people. So you're gonna give the money back? I can't. I spent it. On this, and I love it. Uh, yeah, your new phone. I spent all your integrity on it. You're actually enjoying this. You're pathetic. True, but at least I'm not paying a bunch of Chinese people three cents an hour so I can auto-tune myself singing Gangnam Style. So you want to tell me what was so important you had to go and destroy my date? Ryder found your old photo album, okay? What do you see there? A picture of my dad when he was younger. Who does your dad look like? My dad, but younger. <laughs> Come on, your dad looks just like Austin. Look at that. What? Well, maybe a little. Wait, are you saying I have a daddy thing? No, I'm saying you may have a brother thing. Oh my gosh, I totally get it. You've completely lost your mind. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute, just hear me out, hear me out, okay? Look, look, you and Austin grew up right next door to each other when you were kids, right? We all know your dad had a thing for ladies that weren't your mom. All right, Austin looks just like your dad and nothing like his own father. I mean, come on, Burke, I hate to say this, but I think, I think your dad might've gone over to Austin's house and um, borrowed some sugar. Crazy. Austin's parents are still madly in love. All right, do me a favor. Just ask your dad if he ever had an affair with Austin's mom, okay? Oh, yeah, that'll work. My dad's always been very truthful about all the cheating he's done. <laughs> Burke, Burke, this, 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 this is a big deal. This could be like, like Star Wars all over again. Seriously, <laughs> come on. You know, Luke liked Leia, and then Leia kissed Luke, and then they found out they were brother and sister, and she was like, oh, gross, it never happened. So in your world, I'm Leia, Austin is Luke, Russell's Darth Vader, so what does that make you, Han Solo? I didn't ask to be the coolest man in the universe, it just happened. <laughs> but look, I gotta say, I mean, I got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> Seriously, come on, Burke. I mean, you, you have no doubt in your mind at all about the whole brother-sister thing? No, no doubt. I mean, maybe like this much doubt. Sure, it's not like this much doubt? No, this much. You're comfortable with that much doubt? Because I think anything more than this much doubt is too much doubt. <laughs> I can't ask my father. I can't ask Austin. You got any other brilliant suggestions? I do. Ready? DNA test. DNA test. Yeah. How do you slide that into a date? 
Better figure it out before anything else gets slid in. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm the bad guy. Fine. Go sleep with your brother. I don't care. All right, the sibling DNA test can determine whether two individuals share one or both parents. How am I supposed to get a DNA sample from Austin without him finding out? I'm going to tell you. DNA samples can be obtained through cheek swabs. Yeah, that won't raise any suspicion. Tissues with mucus. Next. Blood samples. Next. Semen. Next, next, next. Or a hair sample. Really? You couldn't just start with that one? You know, when you kept putting off our date, I was beginning to think you were having second thoughts about us. No. Silly. Hey, you're, you're getting a little shaggy back here. Do you mind if I uh, give you a trim? Well, actually, I'm trying to grow it out. No, 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 no. I really like it short. <gasps> look what I've got. <laughs> no, seriously, I got a, I got a guy to go to. Oh, look, much better. Yeah, it, it was just a little cow-like thing. More wine? I'll be right back. <laughs> I got it. A good, thick lock. Oh, man, I'm slick. Totally distracted him with my cleavage. <laughs> What the hell is this? The DNA sample. We can't be cut hair. You have to pull it out so they can test the follicle. Pulled out? Yeah, by the roots. <laughs> Ow, what, what are you doing? I wanted to see if I could do it without you noticing. This is not gonna be easy. Come on, girls, we got work to do. <clears throat> hey! Where's the wine? Huh? You were going to get us more wine? Oh, yeah. You and your adorable listening. <laughs> Ow! What was that? Oh, I'm so sorry. I got caught in my ring. You're not wearing a ring. Look at how much hair you pulled out. I'll just go throw it away in the special hair wastebasket in the other room. No, no. I know something's going on. And what is it? It's... It's... It's Joe and his deranged lunatic theories. You know, he takes this much doubt, and he pries it up until it's this much doubt. He's, he's a doubt prior. Joe is Mrs. Doubt Prior. <laughs> Okay, so what is this crazy theory of his? That my dad, get this, could be your dad, which would make us brother and sister. <laughs> it's laughable, right? <laughs> How come you're not laughing? <laughs> you should be laughing. <laughs> Laugh, damn it. Now, when I was really little, I walked in on my mom and your dad. Well, you saw them? And you still invited me back to your play? Have you never seen Star Wars? No, they weren't doing anything. I walked in on them in the kitchen. It was just a look like I'd interrupted something. After that, I never thought much about it. Until now. Do you really think that's possible? No, it's not even remotely possible. Oh, my God, you have my eyes. I think we need to do a DNA test. Way ahead of you. <laughs> Aren't you going to answer that? No. Why not? Who is it? The souls of thousands of underpaid, overworked Chinese laborers? How'd they get your number? The company that makes the condoms, that bought the ads, that paid for my phone is very, very bad. But the phone itself is very, very good. So your plan is to keep the phone but never, ever answer it? Something like that. I don't have it all worked out. You know, it seems to me that the right thing for you to do is to give up the phone. But where am I ever going to get another one this cool? You know what? You can have mine. It's only a year older and it has most of the same features, but without the guilt. But then what are you going to do for a phone? No, I'll figure something out. Awesome. Thanks, Aunt Mel. <laughs> Upgrade. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. DNA test results. Give me that. Bill. <laughs> Aren't you gonna open that? Oh, I promised Austin we'd open it together. Well, you know what? Let me hold on to it then. That way you won't be tempted. Good idea. All right. Hey! What? You're the one that promised Austin. I didn't promise Jack. <laughs> wow. Okay. There it is. Oh, my. Now we know. I mean, now I know. Wow. I got clothes in the dryer. Well, no! You gotta tell me. I mean, this isn't just another guy I met. This could be something. You and Austin are not brother and sister. There's no match. Oh! I can't wait to show Austin and pretend like I didn't see it. Oh! 
Here's my surprise face. <gasps> wait a minute, wait a minute. What, what if he notices that you already opened up the envelope? Oh, well, then I do this one. <laughs> now there's nothing keeping us apart. Isn't this great? Yep. It's awesome. This is great news. Yeah, so we're good to go. Yeah. Wait, wait. Is this too weird? I mean, up until kindergarten, we took baths together. You know, you were like the brother I never had. Are we really gonna kiss? You know, with the tongue? That was the plan. <laughs> what if it's, you know... Weird, gross. Way to sell it. Well, it might be all of those things. But there's only one way we're gonna find out. Well? Again? Sure. Previously on Melissa and Joey. Joe, this is Austin, my best friend growing up. Yeah, I lived right next door to Mel. I'm seeing a relationship start to, uh, how do I put this? Explode. <laughs> yeah, how did you get in touch with Austin again after all this time? Facebook. <laughs> Joe thinks we may be more than friends, and I think he may be right. At least I hope he may be right. Wait, wait. Is this too weird? I mean, up until kindergarten, we took baths together. You know, you were like the brother I never had. Are we really gonna kiss? Sure. <laughs> Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Oh, no. No, it's happening again. An hour ago, my friends Instagrammed from the bowling alley. Now they're Instagramming from Waffle Palace. You know what this means? Your friends are tired and sticky? <laughs> no, it means I don't exist. You get suspended from school and everyone forgets you're alive. Oh, they forgot you in ninth grade. <laughs> but I can help. See, there's a whole chapter in my psychology book on lonely nerds. There is not. All right, well, nerds is in quotes. All right, let's see. Um, outcast status can lead to learning difficulties, depression, and lack of personal hygiene. Dude, your head smells like Dog the Bounty Hunter. <laughs> when, was, when was the last time you actually washed your hair? Um... Okay, all right. If you're saying, um, it's been too long, all right? Ooh, the game's almost on. I gotta go. I got money on this game. Well, it's only two dollars, but uh, my Aunt Carlotta's going down. <laughs> and look at that, the game is already on. <laughs> and Austin is rounding second. This is not a spectator sport, Longo. Hey, Joe, we in your way? No, not at all. Um, that's cool. I'll be a great guy and just watch this uh, once in a lifetime matchup on the um, Yugoslavian 12 inch TV with rabbit ears. Oh, well, a really great guy would be gone already. That's where I was headed. I'm going, all right? Look, have fun, okay? And just remember that on the other side of this door, there are two as yet untraumatized teenagers. But, uh, <laughs> enjoy. Well, that sure rained out the game. No, rain makes things grow. I just think that perhaps we could find a more adult setting with a scooch more privacy. How about something like this? The Brighton Resort? Mm -hmm. mm, fancy. I made us a reservation. I think our first night together should be special. Me too. Have I ever told you how special this couch is? <laughs> We've waited like 30 years. What's a little while longer, huh? Torture. But a good, sweet, romantic kind of torture. Mm -hmm. I was thinking this weekend. <sighs> you know what? You've talked me into it. Ugh. Now get out. What? what? Why? Well, you, you're too hot. No, you can't stay here looking like this. You're like an open box of cookies. Oh, that's sweet. Now, go, go, take your cream filling and get out of here. It's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. As far as I can see, it's all good. All good. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. All right. I guess you're stuck with me. Hey, buddy. Look, um, I know it can get very lonely being the only kid in home school, so 
I got you a present. You ready for this? You ready? Huh? Hey, get in here. <laughs> Ryder, I want you to meet Leland. Leland, this is Ryder. Hello. <laughs> sit down, sit down. You rented me a dweeb? No, 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 no. Le Leland's another at-home school kid who lives in the neighborhood. I swear you could find anything online. Anyway, I made a deal with his mom, so he's gonna be joining us for our government class from now on. Mm. What's your Minecraft username? I, I don't play Minecraft. I built a village in the forest and tamed the ocelots before they mob spawned. Actually, uh, I think my username is Kill Me Now. That's an awesome handle. Look at you two getting along. I hope you didn't mind driving with the top down. Oh, not at all. Next time, let's drive with my top down. <laughs> oh, hey, guys. Hey, look, are you going to be heading over to the couch again? Because if you are, Mel, I think we should maybe invest in some slip covers. No, Joe, he's just dropping me off. The couch is safe. So Mel tells me you're a pretty good pool player. Pretty good? Yeah, I mean, it's how I put myself through business school with money left over, but, uh, sure, we'll go with pretty good. Well, I just brought it up because I thought it might be nice for the two of you to hang out, you know, get to know each other. Joe, you could make an effort. I appreciate you, uh, trying to set me up on a mandate, Mel, but, uh, I'm actually very happy being single. Besides, um, you know, I'm not really into the, uh, Thor type. <laughs> oh, I gotta take this. Minor crisis down at City Hall that requires a certain blonde charmer. <laughs> That's me. You know, buddy, I think you might like playing some pool down at my club. Oh, you have a club? The Toledo Athletic Club. I'm a member. Yeah, I used to be a member. Back when I had, um, what do you call it? Money. It's a great club. Some members already asked me to run for vice president. I was president. When you have money. Exactly. Yeah. And back when they wouldn't let, uh, just anybody join. So we're playing, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Well, mostly me playing. You'll be watching. You an eight-ball man or a nine-ball man? Honestly, you know, it's really more how you prefer to lose. OK, one crisis put to bed. Now, what is it going to take to convince you boys to play a nice, friendly game of pool together? Friday, 4 o'clock. Let's make it 5. Ryder's got a teeth cleaning. Done. It's my unstoppable blonde charm. Works every time. OK, let go now. Let go. OK, Leland, let's, let's really try and concentrate on this one. Joe says it's going to be on the test. Compare and contrast the American Revolution with another war of independence. G-Shock Bay. Hech lech mech kak judge bomb. Dude, for the last time, you cannot write your essay in Klingon. Biluch Bay. Cho Shuj. Okay, how do you say this in Klingon? If you don't stop that, I'm gonna punch your pointy ears off. Actually, pointy ears are Vulcans. Okay, that's it. You're not gonna live long enough to prosper. Hey, Ryder, can I see you a second? You realize why that kid is bothering you so much. See, according to Carl Jung, Leland is your shadow. What do you mean? I mean, you can't stand nerdy Leland because you were always nerdy. I mean, this is textbook stuff. You don't like the geek in him because... You don't like the geek in you. No, that's ridiculous. If you think I'm anything at all like him, you have much to learn, young Padawan. Oh, no. You've just been shrunk, son. One game for me, now one for you. Nicely played. Yeah, well, I figure I would spot you one, you know, kind of keep things interesting. Trying to psych me out. Personally, I don't do that kind of thing. So tell me, Joe, how does it feel to be back in the club you can't afford to play it anymore? You want to keep talking or just get straight to you losing? Hey, everybody. Lady Luck has arrived. Thank you, Burke. It's the first time I've broken in, like, forever and not gotten a single ball in any of the pockets. Yeah, but you set me up great. So many choices. So is everyone playing nicely? Oh, is that why you came here, to be playground monitor? Well, I know that when boys play unsupervised, they tend to, you know, kill each other. <laughs> nice! I probably put that ball in front of the pocket for him. Yeah, thanks for that, Joe. And that's one I set up for myself. He's good. When is it your turn again? <sighs> Winning is exhausting. 
Okay, I need myself a little kiss break. Got blow on the queue for luck. And that's just a preview of what's to come at the hotel tonight. Puke in the corner pocket. What? The hotel has a pool table. Oh, I'm sorry I couldn't be better luck. It's well, okay. I think I can find some way to console myself. You get. This is why I don't come here anymore. Can, can we? Okay. You know what? I, I need you. Hey, can you guys move it, please? Because you're right in my line of sight. Can oh, you oh, take sorry. it over there? Thank you. Off the table. All right? Thanks so much. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Did I just hit him where I think I hit him? Uh, oh, that would be a yes. Hey, you know what, buddy? Um, why don't we just call this a draw? All right, so what did the doctor say? You broke my boyfriend, Joe. <laughs> you ruptured major vessels in his male fun zone? <laughs> yeah, the doctor said I can't do anything that might create blood flow to that part of the body. How am I supposed to stop that? Huh? What, uh, wear an invisibility cloak? I'm sorry. No, you're not understanding. We can't have sex for a week, OK? And tonight's hotel reservation is non-refundable. I was supposed to be naked right now. I said I'm sorry. It's not like I did it on purpose. Oh, of course not. Oh, come on. Look, I like Austin. You know, the guy just doesn't know where to stand when you're playing pool. Oh, you're blaming him? So I suppose his groin charged full speed into your pool cue. Oh, oh. <laughs> that was no accident, Joe. Are you kidding? It's the very definition of an accident. You ever see Marcus Funny in some videos? That would win, like, every week. Why would I do something like that on purpose? Now go see a therapist and find out what's driving that muscle-bound brain of yours. For your information, I don't have any muscles in my brain, baby, but if I did, it would be insanely well-defined. <laughs> so, the American generals in their fight against King George III were really very similar to... The Jedi commanders who helped the rebel forces in their fight against the Empire? Affirmative. I mean, yeah. I think we're onto something here. Thanks, Ryder. What you doing? Oh, I'm just updating my Instagram. Hey, that's a photo of me. Why'd you post that? To let the world know how me and my best bud have been totally partying down. It's like a million photos of us. <laughs> just 87. A Romulan's dozen. Well, delete them. Why would I do that? People could see these. Well, that's kind of the point of Instagram. Dude, doing homework on opposite ends of a dining room table is not partying, and we are definitely not friends. Oh. I see. Wait, Leland, I, I just meant that... I got your meaning. Loud and clear. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to hang out with my real friends in the Pokemon chat room. <laughs> He's gone. Yes! Hey, Joe. You got any plans for Christmas? No, no, I'm not gonna be doing anything. Really? Oh, I heard you're starting in the Nutcracker. It's funny. Look, despite what your aunt says, it was a total accident, okay? Although she thinks I had some deep subconscious motivation that I ought to get my head examined. Hmm. And uh, how did that make you feel? This is way off base. I mean, I had no hidden agenda. So you're not bothered by her relationship with Austin? No, not at all. You know what I always say. You gotta live and let live. Yeah, I've never heard you say that. I say it late at night after you're asleep, okay? <laughs> look, it's just that I've seen these Facebook childhood hookups before, okay? And they never end well. I just wish your aunt would look ahead of her to find a guy instead of behind her. From what I heard, you're the one who should have been looking behind. <laughs> it was an accident. Tell you what, Joe. As an experiment, let's pretend that hitting Austin wasn't an accident. Why do you think you hit him? I was distracted. I mean, you know, she walks into the pool hall and immediately starts playing kissy face with Austin. I had a shot perfectly lined up. I was about ready to take it, you know, and then I hear, you know, oh, oh you're so fine. You, uh. So your whole attitude changed when Mel showed up. Her butt was on the table. So you got distracted by the presence of her butt. What are they teaching you in that school, huh? So 
had a buttox since I did straw. Hey, 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 no, 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 don't, don't, don't write anything down. Joe, I'm merely suggesting that whatever your feelings for Aunt Mel are, they may be stronger than you're willing to admit. You know what I think? I think you're very lucky that you're not in my home school because you would be flunking psychology right now. I can see you this time again on Thursday. Uh, ew, ew, no, I'm not, no. Now, for a perfect crust, you want to make it not too thin, but even. So you need a smooth, steady roll. There we go. A little flour. Okay, I don't think I'm doing this right. Here, let me help. Like this, like this. Back and forth. Back and forth. See, doesn't that feel nice? Yeah. Okay, back. I think I'm getting the rhythm now. Oh, it's going back and forth so easily. Yeah, it is. Mm. Nice. Oh, yeah. Wait, Austin, hold on. I thought the point of this baking was to keep our minds off the sex we can't be having. Yeah, that was the original idea. Okay, well, it's not working at all. All I'm thinking about is what we could do with that butter. Okay. Okay, <laughs> you need to stand over there, way out of grabbing range. This is about baking, nothing else. Got it, right. Well, the dough looks perfect. I think we're ready to put it in. The pie tin. Pinch the edges. Okay. Like so. Beautiful. I was thinking the same thing. Okay, don't give me that. I'm gonna kiss you look. Doctor said none of that for at least a week. Oh, it's tough. I always have that look around you. You know, it's funny. Even though I've known you my whole life, every day there's like a new first with you. Oh, what about doctor's orders? I'll let him fill his own pie. Is that dirty? Right now, everything is. Soak it up. Are you Ryder Scanlon? Yes. I'm Kira Guckenheim Shop. Nice to meet you. Leland's sister. Mm hmm. My brother told me what you said to him. Look, I don't know what you, you heard, You told him but... you'd never be friends with someone like him. Must have made you feel real big, huh? Not everybody can be as popular as you, Ryder Scanlon. I'm popular? I'm sure. Announce it to the world. Yeah, sorry, what I mean Think is... Think how the other guy feels for once. From now on, I expect you to treat my little brother with some respect. Wait, wait hold on. Look, maybe I was a little harsh on your brother, but I, I've been under a lot of strain recently. Maybe I'm forgetting how to interact with people. I don't know. I, I've been homeschooled for an entire month. That's your excuse? I've been homeschooled my whole life, and what are you eating? A processed baked good? My mom hasn't let me have refined sugar since my little brother's eighth birthday. Not to mention the wound he gave the clown was totally superficial. Yeah, well, my mom lets me eat processed baked goods because she's in prison. I'm sorry, I didn't know that. Well, now you do. Still no excuse. You should act nicer. You can't tell me how to act. Fine, keep being a jerk. I will. Jerk. You like bowling? Love bowling. You want to go sometime? That sounds delightful. Okay, I'll get your number from Leland. Can't wait. <laughs> wow. The rarely seen mating ritual of nerds. What the heck happened in here? I baked a pie. Oh. Got hands off, Longo. Keep your fingers out of my pie. Oh, I see baking relaxes you. So, um, how's Austin's, um, you know, the, uh, the fun zone? Yeah, still closed for repairs. And he had to go home and take an ice bath after I inadvertently aroused him. You know, you just can't turn this off. So, look, I've been thinking a lot about that, actually. And, and you, you may not have been completely wrong about the whole, you know, subconscious motivation thing, you know, with the incident that, you know, with the occurring. With the, the... Wow, you can't even say it. When I whacked him in the chicken tenders. You happy? So you did do it on purpose? No, no, I didn't do it on purpose, all right? But, you know, it, it, it got me thinking and it, and it stirred up some feelings. About? About you and, and Austin and me. I'm jealous. Jealous? I'm jealous because... In what universe do you get to have a healthy relationship before me? That just doesn't even make any cosmic sense. Oh, you're jealous about the relationship, not Austin. Like you said. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> oh, and, um, 
I got you a little something. It's a romantic weekend getaway for two at the uh, Millard Hotel. All right, for you and Austin. And the dates are flexible, so you guys can go whenever, you know, he gets off the uh, grounded groin list. <laughs> so, enjoy. Joe, I'm stunned. This is so mature and generous. So unlike you. Well, you know, people people grow and change, and um, as, as a matter of fact, I followed your lead on this one, and I ended up uh, Facebooking this girl that I went to junior high with. Very cute girl, actually. And uh, one thing led to another, and tonight, I have a date. She flew in from Jersey? No, the junior high girl was a friggin' mess. <laughs> but after I got done Skyping with her, I ended up hooking up with this barista at the coffee shop where I was. She's a uh, aspiring lingerie model. Her name is uh, Chardonnay. <laughs> you wanna see her? Here. She's only working there part-time until she breaks out. It looks like she's breaking out of that top right now. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Anyway, um, when she's done with work, we're gonna go out and take in a midnight showing of, uh, well, her. <laughs> so I gotta thank you, Burke, because I never would've put myself out there if it wasn't for you. So have a good night. I will uh, see you tomorrow. I don't need sex. I've got pie. Pie beats sex. Never. <laughs> Got everything you need for bowling? Yep, brought socks for two. Those rental shoes are disgusting. Mm. Oh, and uh, snacks. What are you allowed? Granola, dried string beans? <laughs> I was thinking some of those processed baked goods of yours. That could be arranged. <laughs> so, Kira, have you always been attracted to nerds? <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I'm just wondering if your attraction to geeky boys is a preference or is it due to some genetic predisposition? Bruto Betohai would say that your interest in your brother's romantic life seems outside the boundaries of a healthy sibling relationship. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, well, Freud would say, I know you are, but what am I? You totally homeschooled her. <laughs> All right, let's go bowling. Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. Whoa, look at you, Mel Burke, on the computer, 6.45 a.m. Was there a big uh, shoe sale in Eastern Europe? Please, there are no good shoes east of Italy. <laughs> no, you know, I'm just uh, researching some issues, seeing where the other city council members stand. I'm guessing they stand right next to uh, Mommy? What is that? I'm taking a five-minute break from work and checking out this app thingy. You know, it takes a picture of two people and merges it together to show what their baby would look like. What people? Me and Austin. What? Like, look, okay, I know we've only been dating a short time, but I've known him my whole life. This could be something serious. How serious? Like, um, malaria? <laughs> like, you know, future serious, family serious. Baby serious? No. Well, you know, not right this minute. Um, this is just me fooling around. Yeah, but you and Austin haven't been fooling around. Isn't it kind of necessary if you want to make a uh, cute little app like that? Yeah, well, Austin is still recuperating from that blow to his manhood. Blow to his manhood. Sounds like a great line from a uh, medieval porn. You know what I mean? That whack to his sack you administered with the pool cue? Yeah. Pretty soon, Austin and I will be getting down to business. Ladies, with your coy romantic talk, you're, you're making me blush. Blush. Isn't that the name of your lady friend? Uh, her name is Chardonnay. Mm. Does she pair well with soft cheese? She pairs well with Bree, who's about the same height. It's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. As far as I can see, it's all good, all good. It's okay, okay. It's all right, all right. I guess you're stuck with me. Joe, deal with it. Going out with Xander. Back later. Oh, hold on, honey. Hey, how's that uh, college application essay coming along? Would you get off my back? Okay, you don't have to breathe down my neck every minute. Okay, I'm not breathing down your neck. It's just a light, loving pant. <laughs> you know, the applications are due next week, sweetie. It's like my entire future is coming down to this one piece of paper. You know, I've come up with a million topics, but I hate every single one of them. How about overcoming adversity? You know, admissions officers eat that crap up like hungry hippos. 
Oh, great. Now I hate a million and one topics. You're no help at all. Okay, you know what? You're right. It's time for cool Aunt Mel to step aside and let tough Aunt Mel take over. From now on, I will be breathing down your neck like the big bad wolf. Rah! <laughs> now get upstairs and write. But... Ah! <laughs> oh, can't you do this in your room? Oh, um, sorry, Mel. Uh, Chardonnay just likes his chair. <laughs> I do. <laughs> Catch me if you can. Out oh, runs slow. <laughs> wow, she can talk. I thought the only words she knew were, oh, God, and Joe. Well, those are her favorite words. Must be fun having a relationship that's all sex and no conversation. We talk. Yeah? What's her last name? It's... Not important, all right? Look, we, we just haven't gotten to that stage yet. Oh, so you're working from the inside out. <laughs> Hello, you. Hello, you. <laughs> Hello, you. <laughs> oh. Careful, Joe, I'm not wearing a cup. Austin, if I said it once, I've said it a thousand times. I'm sorry, all right? Now, if you'll excuse me, I got a hot Chardonnay waiting for me up in my room, and uh, I'm about to get hammered. Great news. My urologist just gave me the thumbs up. Ouch. No, a clean bill of health. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, so we can use that hotel gift certificate that Joe gave us. Mm -hmm. And here's a list of things the doctor says it's okay for us to do. And I uh, <clears throat> wrote in a couple of my own. Okay. All right. Can do. Whoa, what do you think this is, your birthday? Mm -hmm. Okay, quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Here is my counter offer. <clears throat> Absolutely. It would be my pleasure. Well, technically it would be mine, but I like your can-do attitude. Mm. <laughs> Joe. <laughs> You're so cute. I could eat you up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't, 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 don't fill up on bread now. <laughs> Let's save room for the main course, okay? Uh, you know, actually, maybe, maybe we could just um, slow things down a little bit, all right? You know, savor the moment. Maybe uh, throw in a little conversation. <laughs> okay. Those are, those are wonderful thoughts. No, but I, I, I just really want to get to know more about you, all right? So, tell me something personal. Okay. These are real. See, now we're getting to know each other. Crap, 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 crap! So you finally came up with that opening line for your essay, huh? Good. I'm gonna make you some coffee. Would that help? Only if it's coffee that threatens to break my kneecaps if I don't work. <gasps> That's it. You can break my kneecaps. Whoa. That's whoa. Metaphorically. You just stand right here and don't let me leave the room until I finished a draft. Uh, and why would I do that for you? Let's see, you're not in school and you've got nothing going on in your life. For your information, I play Call of Duty six hours a day. You get to yell at me to sit my ass down and write. All right, Blondie, enough with the chit-chat. Get with the tappy-tappy. Come on. I think we left our luggage in the hallway. Yeah, well, I packed everything I need in this bra. I can't believe we're finally doing this. I know. <laughs> After all this mm, waiting and anticipation. Yeah, it's like Christmas. Hot, sexy Christmas. And I am ready to unwrap my gift. Me too, because I've been a good girl this year. So, what are we using? Well, I thought we'd start with the traditional God-given equipment. Ah, uh, no, you know what I mean. Birth control. We don't have to use anything. <laughs> yes, we do. I know we don't. <laughs> yes, we do. No, we don't. I had a vasectomy. Oh. Did you now? Sexy Christmas is just full of surprises, isn't it? Wow, so you, you, uh, you, you had a vasectomy, huh? <laughs> I've known you my whole life and I didn't know that. So you are definitely not gonna get me pregnant tonight. Or ever. Uh, that's right, baby. Mm. <laughs> baby, baby, baby. Okay, you know what? Can you please just not use that word? Oh, mama. Uh, yeah, that's not any better. 
What's wrong? I... I... I think I had some bad shrimp at dinner. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh. And good morning to you. What the hell is that? Oh, that's a bribe from the Buckwalds. Yeah, they're still trying to woo me over there to be their full-time nanny. <laughs> we long for you, Joe Longo. <laughs> Isn't that funny? From the Buckwald family, Zeb, Sienna, Liam, Alexa, Tessa, and Tucker. Oh, look at us. We're one huge happy family. Yeah. Show offs. Take your muffin basket and shove it, Buckwalds. Oh, I see that night at the spa did wonders for your mood. Austin had a vasectomy. They do that there? I mean... I, I know they do the whole seaweed wrap thing. I just didn't realize it was so tight. Not last night. When he was 25, he decided he never wanted to have kids. Wow. I'm sorry, Burke. Jeez, that sucks. Man, the biggest decision I made at 25 was to grow a goatee. <laughs> it was awesome, by the way. You know what, Joe? You just made a very good point. You don't have that goatee now. You are a different person in your 30s than you were in your 20s. You've changed. You know, maybe Austin could change, too. No, 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 Mel, Mel, what, what, what Austin shaved off, no man can grow that back. Or can he? No, 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 Mel, he really can't. It's... Let me out. Where's the essay? Just move. Nope. My job is to keep you here writing. That's what my boss says. Between you and me, she is a total big <laughs> sister. I need to go, okay? I got an emergency text. What, what kind of emergency? Xander needs a kiss. He looks so sad and lonely. Oh, let me see. Yeah. Hey, no. Uh, no, 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 no boyfriend for you. No. Man, I'm telling you, that, that Chardonnay is like a bundle of energy. I am losing some serious electrolytes up there. I'm telling you, Mel, she, she, she's like a, like a bow flex with boobs. Hey, Joe, great news. Austin and I can still have a family. It's incredibly simple to work around a vasectomy. Oh, goody, let's talk a little more about another guy's junk. You can reverse it surgically. Snip, untie, the boys are back. You know, or use a long, thin needle to remove semen directly from the testicles. See? Wish I hadn't. <clears throat> Look, I'm gonna go now, all right? But um, good luck selling Austin on the whole, um, you know, needle in the uh, sugar plums idea. <laughs> Completed essay. Take a look. Oh, good for you, Len. You buckled down and did what you had to do. Okay, what is this? As we grow, we change. Life is like a roller coaster. What's so bad about it? Are you planning to major in cliches? But you gotta start the essay with a grabber. Your mom's in prison. Do you know how lucky you are? I mean, how many high school seniors would kill for a personal story like that? My mom going to jail is the worst thing that ever happened to me. No, that would be totally embarrassing to write about. This This is a perfectly acceptable essay. Is that what you want? To do an acceptable job, something merely sufficient? Or do you want to go out in the world and infuse people's skulls with your intellectual TNT and blow their minds? <laughs> yeah, well... Oh! <sighs> that was a close one. I was about to cave. Yeah, and it turns out the reversals are successful like 85% of the time. And you just happened to hear this... Uh... On Jeopardy! <laughs> Weird, right? Yeah, and of course I thought of you and your things and, you know, what happened to them. <clears throat> no, nothing happened to them. Yeah, I wasn't hit by a vasectomy truck. It was a decision. That you made when you were 25. I'm not the same person I was at 25, are you? Of course not. I still don't want kids, and I thought you weren't interested in having them either. I gave you that idea. Because you, you already have Lennox and Ryder. Well, I'm not their mom. I am far, far too young to be their mom. Far. <laughs> but you are raising them. They're your kids. You've already done the parenting thing. Yeah, but you haven't. Do you really want to miss out on all that? Mel, I am so happy with what we have right now. If we want to see the Eiffel Tower, we can get on a plane anytime we like. We have the freedom to completely spoil each other. You're enough for me. And that's what you get with the Austin plan. 
I like that plan. Mm. I want to get on that plan. <laughs> At least take off your shirt. Nah, nah. I, I, I've really taken it off so many times. I don't want to do it. I don't want to. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa. No, 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 no. No. Can't have any more of this, uh, this uh, smooth Joey goodness <laughs> until you answer some of my questions. Like what? Why don't you tell me something about yourself, please? You know, talk about your hopes and, uh, and your dreams. Well, I hope you're going to stop talking soon, and I dream that I'm going to see you naked again before I die. See, now that's another good topic, the afterlife. Do you believe that our souls live on? <laughs> You're thinking about it, aren't you? <laughs> That's good. And so, as I watched the prison doors slam shut between my mother and me, I realized another door had opened, the door to my Aunt Mel's home. Does she get on my case? Yes. Does she breathe down my neck? Absolutely. <laughs> because she cares about me. And that's how I came to realize that the worst thing that has ever happened to me turned out to be the best thing that has ever happened to me. So, what'd you think? Well, uh, I, I'm not sure you want to use the passive voice in the first paragraph, but overall, I'd say, you know, pretty good. Yeah, decent. Oh, it's the best essay ever! <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Mel. You know, you cracking the whip really forced me to go deep and dig into my soul. And Ryder made me pee in a soup can. <laughs> Hold on to this. I just want to, you know, uh, proofread it again. <clears throat> gotcha. Oh, she called me flinty and pulchritudinous. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Look, I, 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 I just wanted to know what your major was in college. Uh, what is this? The Spanish preposition? <laughs> okay, so I'm guessing it wasn't history. <laughs> Probably not English either. What is it with you guys in your 30s? Let's define the relationship. Where's this going? You know where this is going? Right out the door. Wait, wait, wait Chardonnay. Don't be sad. She'll be back. I'm not sad. In fact, I am very, very happy. Somebody needs to tell your face. I just realized I am a mom. You know, it's okay that Austin doesn't want kids, because when you think about it, I've already got Lennox and Ryder. Yeah? You'd be okay with never having kids of your own? You know, maybe what's a deal breaker in your 20s isn't a deal breaker in your 30s. Maybe that's growing up. Brooke, I'm going to tell you something, and I mean every word of it. You got to get what you want out of life. You should never compromise. Not on the big things. I'm not compromising. You know, I, I'm an awesome aunt slash mom who happens to be very flinty and pulchritudinous. <laughs> you know, if I party less in college, I might remember what those words mean. Hey, you, get your essay writing butt upstairs. I finished my essay. You're fired. But I love my job. <laughs> Yelling at you is, is so fulfilling. Well, you know what? I'm sure at the end of the semester, I will have a huge paper due, and you will be the first person I call to harass me. Looking forward to it. Hey, you know, it was great working with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm all packed and ready to go. I'll see you soon. Home kissing at your age? You sound ridiculous. Yeah, well, people in love get to be ridiculous. That's one of the perks. Austin found the cutest bed and breakfast. Oh, I feel like I'm in an old-fashioned romance movie. That's why I'm wearing my Doris Day dress. What's Doris Day? Oh, is that a fake holiday like Arbor Day? Hello, ladies. Hey. Man, that baby is fat. You know, honestly, I just don't see the appeal of those things. Good. Don't think about having one for at least 10 years. Buckwald sit or quit on him again, so I told him that I'd watch baby Tucker here for a couple hours. He's... Yeah, I don't know why he keeps doing that thing. Now he's red and bubbling at the mouth. Oh, make him stop. It's torture. Okay. Here we go, pal. Here, you don't know how to do anything. Give me I do know how to do it. Give me him. All right, fine. You know what? Be my guest. Go ahead. Hey, it's okay. Did the mean old muscly man scare you? <laughs> Look at you. You're a big boy, aren't you? Oh, you're such a big boy. Oh, you're such a big boy. Burke, you're a natural. Mm -hmm. 
Hey, you found the off switch. He's still fat. You need to get that baby on a Stairmaster. No, I don't need one of these to make my life complete. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I sure sure don't. No, I don't. Hey, sweetheart. Ready to go. Hey, Austin. Uh, Joe just came over with the neighbor's baby. I guess I'll go feed him. That way he won't try to nurse on you. Yeah, these are for display only. <laughs> You are gonna love this B&B, Mel. I got us a room with a hot tub, a fireplace, and an amazing view of you. Mm, that sounds beautiful and wonderful and fantastic. And I'm not gonna do it. No, I swear they completely disinfect the hot tub between guests. Oh, no, it's not about the hot tub. If I go away with you this weekend, I'm just gonna fall for you deeper and deeper. Sounds good to me. Yeah, but before you know it, I'd be totally in love with you, and then I'd start acting crazy and using apps like this to see what our baby would look like. No, I haven't changed my mind. Having kids is a deal breaker for me. I know. And that's why I have to be honest with you. And honest to myself, you know? At some point in my life, I'm gonna want my own little deal breaker. I'm sorry, Austin. So am I. Hey. How you holding up? Well, you were right, Joe. You know, about me being in denial. It just took me a long time to realize it. Due in large part to the denial thing. Well, sometimes we all have blinders on. Or blindfolds. Or handcuffs. You know, just to sort of mix things up. Anyway, um, I, I, I just think you need to find somebody that's on the same page as you. Or at least, you know, in the same book as you. And I'm guessing Chardonnay is not a big reader? She's not so much um, book smart as she is magazine smart. <laughs> and I think she definitely canceled her subscription to me, so uh, <laughs> it's probably for the best, though. I actually think I'm ready to hang out with someone a little more mature. You know, someone that I can settle down with and start a family someday. Really, Joe? You want kids? Absolutely. A couple. Or eight. <laughs> I just need to be patient, and uh, I'll find the right person. Yeah, you'll find her eventually. I'm not going to stop dating until I do. I will leave no hot woman unturned. Soldier on, Longo. Soldier on. <laughs> Hey. Hey, nice move. What? Bringing in that baby. Oh, uh, that wasn't a move. I was babysitting. Right. Yeah, the Buckwalds needed you to babysit at the exact moment Aunt Mel needed help to realize what she wanted in life. It's funny how that worked out. You really care about her, don't you, Joe? Yeah, of course I care about her. Like I care about all you guys. That's, that's my job. Yeah, but you're only paid to look after Ryder and me. Caring about it, Mel, that sounds like something you do because you want to. <laughs> There's really so much you don't know about people. <laughs> There's really so much you don't know about you. Melissa and Joey is recorded in front of a live studio audience. 1500 bucks for a storage locker? Why are they bidding so much? Well, oh, because he's just trying to screw the other guy over. See, it's, it's not really about the storage, it's about the war. <laughs> All boys out, because I got a friend coming over. What are your television manners? I'm out. Leave my beer? Yeah, I'm just clearing. <laughs> so, let me guess, 10 o'clock at night, cookie dough? One of your gal pals just got dumped and uh, you're the friend that's on call? Yeah, you got a problem with that? Women are supportive of their friends no matter the hour. Oh my God, you're being defensive. It's Anita, isn't it? So what if it is? She's one of my oldest friends. Yeah, sure, one of your oldest friends that uh, ruined your 20th birthday party when she was making out with your boyfriend. Oh, and ruined your 25th birthday party when she put ecstasy in your punch. And ruined your 30th birthday party when she invited that stripper over who was dressed up as a cop and then he robbed everybody. Oh, you do listen to my stories. Well, yeah, sure, the Anita ones stick because of all the crazy glue, Mel. This girl is no good for you. You've outgrown her. She needs me, and she gives me these puppy dog eyes, and I can't say no. 
Don't do it. Don't open that door, Mel, and become that blonde that gets killed in the first three minutes of a horror movie. I am capable of boundaries. You know, it'll be one hour, some cookie dough, a cleansing cry, and it's good night, Anita. Yeah, okay, that could work. If you drive a stake through her heart. Melly! Anita! Oh. oh, look at me. I am a raw open wound, and you're the beautiful nurse I need. Well, that I am. <laughs> okay, well, let's get you hooked up to a cookie dough IV and talk about what a jerk that Henry is for only an hour. Because that's all the time he deserves. <laughs> Actually, the medicine I need to get over Henry is a few martinis and a cute bartender. I know about a party downtown. We gotta go. No, 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 no. This girl's not going anywhere tonight. But you're the only one I can count on. There is no one else. Nurse? <laughs> I'm really sorry, Anita, but I have a really big meeting with the mayor first thing in the morning. Oh, but Mel? Like, don't give me the puppy dog eyes, okay? I'm not putting on my little black dress and my platform heels and going out tonight. Not gonna happen. Oh. I need aspirin. Horse aspirin. There's a guy in my head with a hammer and one of us must die. Uh, you're just getting home? What happened to one hour and bye-bye Anita? Oh, you have no idea the power of the puppy dog eyes. Oh. I guess you're stuck with me. This meeting's been set for three weeks, and I'm so sorry I missed it, but I was really hoping that the mayor might be able to reschedule for some time later today. Please don't laugh. <laughs> Hello? You need a major mission meeting with the mayor? <sighs> Look at that. She's ruining your life, and it's not even your birthday. You know what? I'm gonna call back and say my great Aunt Agnes died. Yeah, and it's not a lie, because she did die, like, eight years ago. <laughs> Look at what Holly's done to me. Holly, I thought your ex-girlfriend was done doing things to you. Look, last week she unfriended me, and everyone's followed her like sheep. I used to have 683. Now I'm down to the 400s. I have less than grandma. Well, your, your grandma rocks a little harder than you do. It's eroding my self-esteem. Yeah? You know, it'd be good for your self-esteem to impress your teacher, which is me. You still owe me that thousand-word essay on a Shakespeare play. Friggin' Shakespeare. Ooh, I wrote 500 plays. I kissed Gwyneth Paltrow. <laughs> On her deathbed, my Aunt Agnes said, Honey, do well with that meeting with the mayor. <laughs> Hello? Hello? I don't understand why you just didn't ditch Anita last night and come home. It's not like you were handcuffed to her. Actually, I was handcuffed to her. Yeah, Anita dragged me to a very strange party. No, not that kind of party. <laughs> there was a magician and not a very good one. Yeah, have you ever tried to find a 24-hour locksmith with a passed-out woman attached to you? No comment. What, what else needs to happen before you dump this woman, huh? What, does she need to set you on fire? No, oh, she already did that. <laughs> Spring break, junior year. Yeah, she talked me into doing flaming body shots. The good news? I didn't have to get a bikini wax for a whole year. Look, you need to get rid of this friend, and you know I'm right. I know, but how do you end it with a friend? The same way you end it with an employee. Look, in my previous life, before this kitchen, I fired a lot of people, and I fired them well. Look, let me show you how it's done, okay? You be Anita, and I'll be you. Okay. All right. Anita, hey, listen. Effective today, I'm terminating this friendship between the two of us. Look, this is a very difficult conversation to have, but neither are we mutually benefiting from this relationship anymore. But I am, I am sure that with your winning attitude and your positive personality, that you will find a new friend in no time. Thank you so much. Good luck. Well, I didn't get to say anything. Yeah, that's how it works. You've just been fired by the best. <laughs> Don't make me call security. <laughs> oh, man, I need to see what time I'm supposed to pick up my little sister. My phone's dead. Can I borrow yours? Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, my passcode is 2742. Oh, my God. I just gave you my passcode. Wow, it's true. You did. I never did that before with a boy. <laughs> I'm your first. You are. Mine's 8432. Oh, I'll never forget it. Wait, what was it again? 8432. Right. Yeah. Speaking of numbers, I was wondering, did you ever get your SAT scores? Nope. <laughs> no, I, you know, I don't know what happens. Weird, you know? I sent it to the wrong email, I guess. Uh, maybe SAT stands for, sorry about that. <laughs> hey, guys. Oh, you two are so cute. 
You know, when I used to tell my mom that I was at my boyfriend's studying, we were actually... <laughs> <laughs> studying, just studying. Carry on. Are you curious, though? I mean, you know, it's kind of important. <laughs> no, you know, the, the college just sees the SAT scores, so I don't need to see mine. <laughs> it's not like it's gonna change my life. Oh, you were so evolved. Mm. He is so lying. Why is he lying? I showed him mine and he won't show me his. And just to be clear, we're still talking about SAT scores here? What's he hiding? I mean, we just swapped phone passcodes and now he's keeping secrets? Men are sensitive about the size of their scores. <laughs> oh, so you think he didn't do so hot. Lennox, you did extremely well. I'm sure he's embarrassed and afraid you won't want to date him when you find out his scores are, well, technically, eh. <laughs> I'm not gonna judge him for his score. I mean, if I did better, I did better. Honey, you have to be careful with guys and their egos. You know, men are fragile creatures. Tread lightly. You should tell him that you don't think SAT scores are important. So just say something that makes him feel good? Yeah, everyone likes to have their ego stroked, especially if they're a little insecure. <laughs> Thanks, Aunt Mel. You know, you always know just what to say to make me feel better. And you're so wise and so pretty. <laughs> Thanks, honey. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Hello, Joe. Hey. Wow, look at you. You look great. Like you just lost 120 pounds of uh, unwanted friend. I did exactly what you told me to with Anita. I put my arm around her shoulder and I gave her the heave ho speech and I heave that hoe. <laughs> We had a goodbye hug, and there hasn't been a call or text since. Anyway, Anita is now in my rearview mirror and fading fast. Come on, admit it. Felt good, didn't it? Yeah, it kind of did. Yeah, that's the assassin's rush. God, I missed that. <laughs> All right, quarter pound of burrata, my loaf of focaccia, my truffle oil. Where's my soapasada? So the last quarter pound. The lady over there. Aldo, that's my standing order. I get that order every single week. I can't believe you just gave my soapersada to somebody else. She's got better legs than you. Excuse me, miss. I'm, I'm sorry. I think you have my Anita. Joe? Hey, I didn't I didn't know you shop here. This is this is my spot. Well, I don't come here often, but I was picking up things for a friend's gallery opening, and I just knew this would be the place to... Steal my soapersada? Well, I am not giving it back. <laughs> not that I could stop you with those arms of yours. I just want to touch him. I know. I'm sorry, I didn't ask permission. You know, first taste is free. I'll tell you what, I'll give you the soapersada. Oh, it's very generous of you. But you have to promise to come to the gallery tonight with me. Oh, geez. Uh, no, I don't, I, 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 I don't think I should do that. I mean, with everything going on between you and Mel, I don't really want to get in the middle of that. Oh, but Joe. <laughs> So, I, I have to tell you, that gallery show was pretty good, but it's a shame they couldn't frame what we just did because that was a work of art. <laughs>
could you have her over here when I worked so hard to get rid of her? You know, she is crazy and manipulative and selfish, and that was definitely my blouse. I gotta tell you, Burke, a little crazy is uh, kind of fun sometimes. <laughs> and she is not selfish, believe me. Oh. So all that matters to you is the longo bongo? Oh, no, look, she gave me her soposada right out of the bottom of her basket. Is that some sort of Italian sex code? No, don't even tell me. It's Italian cold cuts. I ran into her at Aldo's, and, you know, sparks flew. Well, so she just happened to be at Aldo's, the gourmet store you go to every Monday? Don't you see what's going on? She stalked you. <gasps> she gave you the puppy dog eyes, didn't she? No. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she might have. This is her plan. Anita is sleeping with you so she could be friends with me again. See, you are simply the road back to me. Hey, hey, I am not the road back, okay? I am the destination. <laughs> I am the pot of gold. Road back. Pot of gold. Road back. Pot of gold. Okay, you know what? I refuse to continue this juvenile exchange. Road back! <laughs> I just feel really bad because, you know, we had a wonderful afternoon where we swapped passcodes and then I kind of ruined it by asking you about your SATs. Which was wrong because, you know, grades and numbers don't matter. I'm glad to hear it. And I don't want there to be any secrets between us. The truth is, I, uh... I did get my SAT results back. I just didn't want to tell you. Aw, sweetie, that's okay. You know, scores aren't important. I got a 2300. You beat me by 200 points? No freaking way! It's 250. What, are you saying I can't add? Technically, you can't subtract. But how is this even possible? I mean, you're an artist. Uh, wait, so what are you saying? Artists aren't smart? Well, yeah, they have, like, spatial intelligence. <laughs> See, this is why I didn't want to tell you. Oh, what? You thought I'd overreact? <laughs> you know what? Let's just not talk about SAT scores anymore. Why don't I help you with your chem term? I don't need your help. I will do just fine on my own. In fact, I will bury you. My own sister unfriended me. We once shared a bathtub. <laughs> yeah, the last thing I want to do is alienate Holly. You're worried about hurting my ex-girlfriend's feelings? Because, trust me, she has no feelings. She's, like, scary powerful. She has over 2,000 friends. You don't mess with a connector like that. Sander, buddy. How's it going, man? Bad. Yeah, Lennox is uh, freaking out because I outscored her on the SATs. <laughs> you told her what you got? The SATs do not measure common sense, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I don't know a lot about girls, but I do know a lot about Lennox. Let her win. Unless you want a battleship shoved up your nose. Wow, it smells amazing in here. What's for dinner? Oh, we're gonna start off with a little bruschetta, then go to Muscles with white wine, and for the finale, handmade lobster stuffed ravioli. Wow, what did I do to deserve all this? Not a damn thing. It's for Anita. <laughs> what do I get? Egg salad sandwich. I think those uh, dark spots in there are bacon bits. <laughs> Funny how all of your dates with Anita seem to take place at my house, where I am. Wrong. You know what? Tonight, we're gonna be eating this at her place. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice for us to dine, you know, where the ambiance is a little less, um... You. Oh, I see. I suggested her place, and she said, yeah, great. Well, then I guess good for you. Look at that. It's Anita. Hey. Yeah, I'm just packing up. I'll be over in a few. You had a what? A gas leak? Are you okay? Um, yeah, no, that's fine. We could, um, we could just eat over here. Okay, I'll see you shortly. Bye-bye. Hmm, gas leak, that's convenient. <laughs> now you can't see it and there's no lingering evidence. What are you saying? Duh is what I'm saying. <laughs> this meal is never gonna take place at her house, Joe. She's after me. Uh-uh, no, no, you know what? She's into me, okay, and I can prove it to you scientifically. So clearly, as a matter of fact, that even you with your blonde helmet of denial will have to accept it, all right? Look, I got a plan. I'm just gonna need your help. Yeah, sure. You know, I'll do whatever I have to do to make you look like a fool. Just eat your crappy sandwich. Joke's on you, it's delicious. <laughs> Yow! I got my test back, and that chem midterm beat me up and took my lunch money. <laughs> Sorry, not that grades are important, but how bad? 
C minus. I got an A minus. Ha! Huh? <laughs> Why did I say that? What is wrong with me? It's okay, babe. We share. You were just sharing loudly. <laughs> it's not like it's competition. But to me, it is. Oh my God, I'm competitive. Too competitive. It's just who you are. Yeah, but it's not who I want to be. You know, I need to become a better person. Maybe even the best person. Oh my God, I'm doing it again. <laughs> Can you stand having me as a girlfriend? Because you're an amazing girlfriend. The best girlfriend ever. And that's a competition you can't help but win. Aww. You know what other competition you win? <laughs> best sister. I'm not refriending you. Not in real life, just on Facebook. I, I'm down to nine friends. And soon you'll be down to zero. Just let go. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry you did so poorly on your test, but I know to fix this. You've got a hidden stash of writer's pork rinds in the garage. Hey, those are for friends only. That's why there's so much of it out there. C minus, huh? So you listen to your Uncle Ryder. Tank the test on purpose, let her win. Good man. Actually, I would never tank a test. It's my buddy Dan's test, and luckily he smokes a lot of weed. <laughs> yeah, I just whited out his name and put in mine. Oh, nice twist. I did not see that coming. You know, we could learn a lot from each other. How about I friend you? I don't think Lennox would like that very much. You know what else she wouldn't like? Finding out that you lied to her about the whole test thing. Okay, friend request accepted. Yes! <laughs> Back to double digits. To us. Yes, to us. Anita, let me ask you something. Do you think it's a little strange that you and I are always having our, our meals here in Mel's dining room? I don't mind. Anywhere you are is the place I want to be. That's so nice to hear. <laughs> and yet not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I hope you like the wine. This is a very, um, a very special bottle. It's a very special bottle. <laughs> oh, uh, Mel? What are you doing here? I thought you were working late tonight. Well, that didn't happen. What's the big deal, Joe Longo? <laughs> I'm just trying to have a romantic dinner here with Anita. Well, this date is over. <sighs> my house, my rules. You don't like it, you can get out. You, you know what? Um, maybe I will, OK? Because this has been a long time coming, and that small final act has been the tipping point that has finally tipped me. <laughs> I quit. Wait, what? Oh, well, real quick, before you quit, you're fired. No, you, you guys can still work things out. No, you know what? I don't want to work things out. Come on, Anita. We will be so much happier the further we are away from her. But, but breaking things off is such a drastic step. I mean, especially when it's someone as great as Mel. No, but I want to. Come on, let's get out of here. We'll never have to see her ever again. But I was so close to getting her back. What was that, Anita? I don't think Joe heard you. One of his brains is deaf. <laughs> Look, I want you back in my life, Melly. And I was willing to take desperate measures to make that happen. I'm desperate measures? <laughs> I'm the pot of gold. That sounded bad. You think? You're sweet, Joe, but you were a means to an end. A fun and very bouncy <laughs> means to an end. You know what? I'm okay with that. <laughs> Anita, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, but Mel... Hey, she's doing the eyes. Look away. Look away. <laughs> Mel, don't you want all your blouses back? All? How many did you take? <laughs> Write them off, Burke, all right? It's the cost of doing business. Anita, listen, listen. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is not going to work out, but I'm sure with your winning attitude and your very dangerous personality that you will have no problem scamming your way into another friendship very soon. So <laughs> thank you and good luck. Why are the hot ones always so damn crazy? Look, I know that was hard for you, and, you know, if it's too painful, we don't have to talk about it. No, it's okay. I'm a big boy. I can handle it. Well, in that case, I was right. I was right. I was right. I don't know how... I don't know how people can be friends with you. I mean, I don't... I, I, I don't... I don't... I don't see the appeal. I really... I'm still not seeing it.
I'm back. I'm back big time. Look at this. 800 new friends in the past two hours. How is that even possible? I accepted a friend request from Amel's friend Anita. What? what? <laughs> yeah, she started posting all these pictures of herself sunbathing in Costa Rica, and all of a sudden I blew up. <laughs> Take that, Holly, in your face. Anita <laughs> oh. wants to uh, stop by a little later. Say hi. What? Man, she's the coolest. <laughs> 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 